Assalamu alaikum students. Today we are going to write the question and answers of lesson number 2 Motion of the Earth EVS 1 In the previous video we have completed lesson number 1 Question and answers Today we are going to start lesson number two. So take out your notebooks and start writing the question and answers. Question one, fill in the blanks. The motion of the earth around itself is called rotation. Here you have to underline it. Rotation word. Number two. The motion of the earth around the sun is called revolution. You have to underline the word revolution. And the third one is the rotation of the earth give rise to day and night. Here you have to underline it. Now proceeding further question number two that is name the following. So number one is the period of time that the earth takes to complete one rotation answer for that is a day now second one the period of time the earth takes to complete one revolution so the answer is one year and the third one is number of days in a leap year so the answer is 366 Fourth one, three main season in India. We all know it very well. The answer is summer, rainy and winter. Now fifth one is the cycle of six seasons. This I have told you when I was teaching. The answer is Ritu Chakra. Now sixth one. Every day of the lunar month. So every day of the lunar month is. This also I have told you. The answer is Tithi. And seventh is two parts of a day. This also you are knowing daytime and nighttime. Now, question number three match the following. First is the waxing moon. That is, the answer is Shukla Paksha. Second one is the Vanning Moon. The answer is Krishna Paksha. And third one is Summer in Northern Hemisphere.
So the answer is 22nd March to 23rd September. And fourth is winter in Northern Hemisphere. The answer is 23rd September to 22nd March. Now question 4, answer in one sentence. Number one is, what is the name given to the changing shapes of the moon that we see? So the answer is, the different shapes of the moon that we see are called the phases of the moon. The second question. What are the names of the days on which we see a round moon and on which day we see no moon at all? Answer for this question is the day we see a round moon is called full moon day and the day we see no moon is called a new moon day. Now question number five, what is meant by each of the following terms? Now full moon, number one full moon. What is full moon? At night, when we are able to see the entire illuminated part of the moon, it is called full moon. Second one, new moon. What is new moon? At night, when we are not able to see the entire moon, as it does not receive the sun's light, it is called new moon. Now, third one, lunar month. The period from one new moon to the next, which is of 28 to 30 days, is called a lunar month. Now, fourth city. Each day of the lunar month is called a city. Write each and every question answers properly, correctly. Don't make any mistake. And learn the question and answers properly. Take care. Allah Hafiz.